Hey guys, what is up? It's Brandon the Neighborhood Uber Goose here. And I've got a little experimentation going here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to explain quickly a little bit of the lore of the game. So first off, uh, there's these serpents, right? Promoto serpents, Kath and Frampt. Or King Seeker Frampt and uh, Darkstalker Kath, I believe. And so it's possible that Kath and Frampt are actually surnames, but... Regardless, so um, these two serpents seem to be, they have extremely different goals. Now, in the DLC, uh, you find out that there was a similar serpent, or might be one of them, who tricked the inhabitants of Ulusil and essentially began the spread of the Abyss, right? I'm sort of near the Abyss, obviously. The Abyss is a bit in there. You can see the little chained up dude or face guarding the elevator that goes down to the dungeon, which is right at the ma mouth of the Chasm of the Abyss. So, um, the interesting thing is, uh, Goff tells you that, but there's one serpent who seems to be in the Abyss in the regular world who seems to be uh, very keen on being in the Abyss, I guess. And that would be Darkstalker Koth. So, what's interesting is I think Darkstalker Koth was the one who made the who tricked the inhabitants of Ulusil into this the beginning of the spreading of the Abyss, right? Now, the Abyss is not actually here. The in the DLC, you don't actually go to the Abyss. You go to the chasm of the Abyss, which is where the Abyss is spreading quite rapidly and where it's taken quite a pretty strong hold right? That's in there. So, something interesting that I want to note is the geographical uh, thing about this, right? So, you got a bridge leading to the entrance, and then you just go down, and there's the abyss, right? So, I'm going to go back this way. And I just want to note um, where this elevator is. It's directly across from the bridge, right? Not off-center even a little bit. This elevator goes up, obviously. So now, here's here's the top of Wulusil, obviously. Tops of buildings. Oh, did not think I would aggro these guys. Sorry about this. <laughs> How on professional fighting enemies in a Dark Souls video? Jeez, who would ever do that? So, it's down there. You can still see it from here, right? Just very, very far down, and then you go even farther down for the abyss. So I'm going to run back here. I'm going to make note of the Royal Wood-ish area up there, okay? So that's there, right? So going back here, I'm going to basically backtrack through here. There's the base of the Royal Wood, and then up there is the actual Royal Wood. And down there is the Abyss. So I'm going to keep making note of exactly where everything is uh, every now and then. Here's the arena where you fight Artorius himself. And then here we go. There is a building with a window in it. There is another building directly across the way. And then down here is a dried up river, right? Or it appears so. Or maybe it's not yet a river. Who knows? And over here, let me just see. I should be able to still see it from here. There's the elevator we came up. So down there is the abyss. You can't quite see it from here, but you can definitely make out the little pagoda that the elevator is in directly across the way, right? And then over there is the bonfire. So, yep. Down there, the abyss. Up there, building with a window. Up there, building directly across the way. That's where the lift is. Now, down here in this little river, if we follow it down that way, we will find a nice little soul that I never picked up. And dogs, of course. <laughs> they will aggro me. And ideally, I don't die. But no get, no promises. Um, I can never see the dogs until they start charging me. So we go. We follow this river. And there's uh, there appears to be a bridge across 
this river, right? That's full bridge. That's a little bit below where the buildings are, right? Just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit down. Okay, hello dog. So, then we come over this way and we find, what do we find? A giant, oh right, I didn't, oh Jesus, that scared me. Okay, I did not, I've never actually heard Kami, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I didn't kill it yet on this playthrough. But there appears to be a basin with a little ladder coming out of it, right? And by little, I mean stupid tall ladder. And then over that direction, um, position-wise, the abyss is kind of that way. And then over that direction is the mouth of the basin, right? And then here's a little, some more rivers flowing into it, some rock walls. And the basin goes back a little bit into that corner. And there's this little up like, this little bit that's a wee bit higher. Here, I'll, I'll climb down the ladder. I should be safe from Calamite. Um, the base of the ladder. What is that? Oh, it's just a flower. But this bit seems to be a little bit higher, right? And then here's the waterfall of the river, okay? So just keep that in mind. Keep all this in mind. Uh, it'll all make sense soon if it doesn't already. It should already make sense, though, if you've played enough Dark Souls. But, yeah, there's the waterfall, here's the ladder. This ladder goes up, 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 up. And then, remember, there is that bridge right there. Don't forget that bridge. That bridge is important. Um, I actually don't know, I guess I must have. No, I had to. Yeah, yeah, I had to. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. And then over here, we see those two buildings, right? Across the way from each other. One of which, on the left side, from this direction, has a window in it. So, let's go up here. And remember, the abyss is that way. Not quite by the mouth of the basin. A little bit away from the mouth of the basin. Um, and also, quite a bit below the mouth of the basin. Don't forget the height. The... The abyss is very far down. Very, very far down. That bridge, not as far down, still farther down than the basin. So we come out here, this building, remember? Building over there with a window in it. This building, remember exactly where the lift is and where these stairs are, okay? And see the other building from here? Okay. So now, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to the left edge, and you can look down, abyss, far down that way. Basin, down that way, not as deep. So I'm going to go this way, on the left side of the woods. There's going to be a couple enemies here, but we can run past them. They shouldn't aggro us until we're far gone. So then down here, there's a little ledge right here. Okay, and then a bridge right here. This bridge crosses a river, not that river, not the one that we were in, but this one's a full river. Okay, so we cross this bridge, and it brings us right over here into a giant circular sort of room. This is the Lucille Sanctuary. So now, I'm going to make a very similar run. So I'll be back at the beginning of that run. So, here we are. And what are we looking at? We are looking at the entrance to New Londo Ruins in the Valley of the Drakes. So, as you can see, there is a bridge going over uh, quite a big little chasm. Big little, yes. So, up that direction is some stuff. But... Um, keep in mind where we are. So, directly behind us from the bridge, there's rubble. So we're going to go to the left a little bit. So if we go to the left a little bit, we're going to get up a lift. This lift goes quite far. And where this lift brings us is here, Darkroot Basin. So, 
what am I trying to show? So we're gonna go up here. Um, we're that lift is a I don't know I timed it ish, and it's about the same height as the lift that was up from or that was in Ulysseal, right? It's about the same height. Okay. Um, so here we go. We see a basin like thing, right? Now remember where the New Londa ruins are, right? They should be directly, I believe, like that way. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see from here. You can't see them. But they're that way-ish, right? That way-ish. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. Actually, can I see it from anywhere at all? Probably not. But... It's down a lift that's like over here, and then it's the other way. So it's like there, right? Which would make some amount of sense, because Firelink is over there, and Firelink also goes down to the Valley of the Drakes-ish. So anyway, over this way, we're going to find ourselves a nice little basin, which I should have on the Rust Iron Ring, because I'm professional and I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> so here's a basin. Well, this isn't the mouth of a basin, but you know, whatever, it'll do. To our left is a waterfall. The basin wraps around that way a little bit. Here's a bit of land that goes up, right? Here's a ladder. Here's the waterfall, still to our left. New Londo ruins, still that direction, right? Still way down though. Okay. So after we climb this ladder, tall ladder, we are going to be right next to this river. Now, the you'll see there is that a little bit of the river that's like, yeah, there, there's the river, okay? Little wooden bridge across the river, All right? No big deal, just a wooden bridge. There's the river. So we are going to be very careful here. Let's go up this other ladder. A little higher, whatever. Item. Don't care. There's the basin. There's New Londo. Right? Go up here. Um, here's a bridge. How interesting. So here's a bridge. Can I go? I can go that way, right? Yeah. And are the cats this way? I don't know. I haven't killed the cats yet. I think the cats are this way. Yes, they must be. <laughs> I don't go this way, like, ever. Yeah, there they are. Um, do I want to take care of cats? No. So I'm going to go this way. But remember, the river goes that way, right? There's the basin. Here's the bridge. Up there, we can see some buildings, right? There's one on the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go this way. This way. And, uh, luckily we're a forest hunter, so <laughs> don't have to deal with these guys. But if we go more this way, I'm going to go back here a little bit, a little bit more than I should. But we're going to show something. So, let's see. That direction-ish, um... That's where the Artorias fight is, right? New Londo's that way. Basin, that way. Okay. I guess New Londo's more like that way. Basin, that way. So if we follow on... I guess it doesn't matter yet. But if, we're, we, if we go this way... And we see, here's a building. Something particular about this building that we can pick out. Is... The fact that there's a window in this building. Okay? Same kind of window. Now here's a bridge. This is different. But, where's this bridge lead? Another building, where the stairs go up a little bit. Okay? Let me out. <laughs> then there's two flights of stairs down. And then a flat spot right here. And then if we come out of the building and stay on the left side of this... And we go here, still keeping in mind, basin that, well, 
Yeah, New Londo that way, Basin that way. Okay. Basin is higher than New Londo. New Londo is very low. So if we follow the left side over here, we get to this spot. Now, there's not a ramp here, but that's okay. We'll just hop down. Fall damage is not a big deal. And then we have a nice little thin stone bridge going over a different river. Right? Different river. And if we cross the bridge, we get to a very large circular room. So, what I'm saying is that the Abyss in Ulysseal and the Abyss in New Londo are the exact same Abyss. So, the important thing about that, also a weird little sword there, same there, both kind of look like Great Lord Great Sword. Anyway, there's the female body with the hornet ring, gee I wonder who that is. So, the interesting thing is, um, I'm saying that Koth, who currently resides in the Abyss in the New Londo Ruins, is the exact same serpent in the exact same location that tricked the inhabitants of Ulysseal into allowing the Abyss to begin spreading. So Koth, long time ago, after the Age of Fire had begun, um, decided that he wanted to spread the Abyss for one reason or another, and he did so in Ulysseal, and that abyss began spreading and actually took hold quite heavily, very far down. And then later on, the sealers decided to stop the halt, the spread of the abyss by flooding New Londo ruins. So New Londo ruins and Ulysseal are one in the same. That's about it. It's also worth noting that Man is the father of the abyss. Um, his soul is dark. And, uh, in fact, it, it is the Dark Soul. And so basically, Manus is the Furtive Pygmy. And I believe, uh, Koth was the first one. Koth was the reason that he became the father of the Abyss. And the spread of the Abyss is actually because of humanity. Anyway, that's about it. Just a, something to think about. Hope you guys enjoyed.